So, yes, so far we learned about three states of matter, isn't it? Yes, when we look around, we can see different type of things, which are living things and non-living things. All these things are made up of matter. So, matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And matter exists in three forms, solid, liquid and gas. So, all matter is made up of small particles. They are called molecules. Yes. So, in solid, the molecules are tightly packed. Very closely packed. So, the attraction between them is so strong. That is the reason they have definite shape and volume. Uh, yes. So, solid has definite shape. It has definite shape. And volume solid has definite shape and volume then what about liquid yes liquid the molecules are less closely packed there is gap in between so the attraction force of attraction between the molecule is less so they flow they can move that's the reason liquid flow so they, that's why it has no definite shape. It has no definite shape, we say, because the attraction between them is less and they move. They can move, so no definite shape. But what about the volume? Yes, it will take the shape of the vessel, which it is the shape of the container it will take. Isn't it? When we pour the water into a glass, it will take the shape, water will take the shape of the glass. So, it has a definite volume, we say. And volume, it has a definite volume. Volume in the sense, it will take the, it takes the shape of the container. It takes the shape of the container. It takes the shape of the vessel. Or container we say yes but in gas how the molecules are so free to move there is no there is no space I mean space is more in between them the molecule space is more so they are more free to move so that's the reason it has no definite shape there is fo fo no force of attraction between the molecules they are so free to move so no definite shape they don't have any shape at all and what about volume no definite volume also because they are free to move the force of attraction between them is not there they are very free to move so no definite shape and no definite volume for gas then about solid what about the examples you can say for solid liquid and gas Solid, we can say ice is an example, isn't it? Ice, solid ice. Ice is an example of solid. And for liquid, we can say water is an example. Example of solid is ice. Then here, liquid, water is an example of liquid. What about gas? Gas is water vapor. Water vapor is gas, isn't it? Yes. Water vapor, we can say as example of gas or we can say example of solid as like chalk a board book pencil rock wood best car these all are example of solid these all have a definite shape isn't it a book has a shape best has a shape rock has a shape chalk has a shape and they also have different volume the space it occupies Liquid, we can say water, juice, petrol, paint. These we can say as example of liquid. Isn't it? They are all in the water form, liquid form. So vinegar, juice, soup, you the soup you drink, these milk, these are all example of liquid. Then what about gas? The air around us, isn't it? We breathe this air. Oxygen is an air, isn't it? The air we breathe is oxygen. So oxygen is a gas. And balloon, hot air balloon gas is there, isn't it? Yes, so they are all example of gas actually.
Mm? Yes. Now, solid. It is generally hard. Isn't it? Rock, wood, uh, book, pencil. They are not so soft, isn't it? So, these are hard, we say. Solids are generally hard items. H-A-R-D, hard. What about liquid? Liquid, it is not hard. Liquids are not hard. Yes. Then what about gas? Not at all hard, isn't it? Yes. Not hard. Only solid is hard. If we touch it, we can understand it is hard. Chalk, board, huh? rock, book, whatever. They are chair, table. They are all hard items. Hard. But liquid, they are not hard. Gas is not hard. Then, solid. It does not flow. It, solid does not flow. It cannot flow because it is hard. It cannot flow. What about liquid? Yes, it flows. Liquid flows. Because it's liquid, it's water, it flows. Then what about gas? It also flows. It moves in the air, isn't it? It, sp it spreads around the air. So it flows. So solid does not flow. Liquid flows and even gas also flow. Then, so yes, these are the differences between solid, liquids and gases. Hmm? Yes, in solid, the molecules are very tightly packed or closely packed. And the molecules, they have between the attraction between them, force of attraction between the molecules are so strong. That's the reason, that is why they have definite shape and volume. But in liquids, the molecules are less closely packed. They, are, they can move. So, they do not have any shape. But they have volume. They take the shape of the vessel. In gas, they can move very freely because the mo molecules between the attraction is not there actually. They are very free to move. Huh? They are not at all closely packed. They are so free to move. So, they, the, they have very weak force of attraction between them. Weak force of attraction. So, they don't have definite shape and no definite volume. We can say that sample as ice, water, water vapor. Yes, and the solid are so hard. Liquids are not hard, gas also not hard. And solid does not flow, liquids flow, gas also flow. So these are the main differences between solids, liquids and gas. And you can think the real life examples of solids like I told. Huh? Rock, chair, stone, wood, huh? bus, car, all are examples, the daily items which we use. Uh, they are all solids actually. Liquid also daily life like water, juice, soup, paint, petrol. These are all liquid items. Gas, the air we breathe, oxygen is a gas. Then carbon dioxide is a gas. This black smoke we can see outside when uh, we go outside the, from factories and all. We can see through the chimney smoke, com smoke coming out. That is a gas. In balloon it has gas, hot air balloons, hydrogen balloons, it has a gas hydrogen. So they are all gases, yes. So these are the real life examples. Yes children, so we learned about the differences between solid, liquid and gas, isn't it? Yes, next states of water are interchangeable means in all cases the nature of water molecules remains the same whatever the cases the water molecules nature it remains same even if it is ice or water or water vapor then every word is water only right nature it is same huh? but the arrangement of water molecules change yes i will tell you an example see when ice ice is a solid huh? You have seen solid ice from freezer. If we take ice, you can see, isn't it? Ice. It's solid actually. It has a different shape and volume. Cube of ice. Shape of a cube. Isn't it? In ice box, ice tray. 
it will that shape of the ice tray what is that shape yes square or cube we say so ice it's a solid when we heat it what happens when we heat when we heat it it changes into water isn't it when we heat it changes into water then what happens again water if we heat that water when we heat it what happens yes steam comes out water vapor or we can say water vapor water vapor isn't it then water vapor suppose we allow them to cool what happens when it cools again it changes into water and this water when again cool it changes into ice again isn't it actually when ice heat we get water otherwise we keep ice outside for some time what happens it cools into water only isn't it then it when he heat it becomes water vapor we can see vapor coming out but after water vapor water cools what happens water vapor cools to form water then water when we keep inside the fridge or freeze it it becomes ice again but all these stages ice water water vapor what nature is water only but the molecules the arrangement of molecules change here it is solid ice is solid water is liquid water vapor is gas so arrangement of molecules changes ice the molecules are closely tightly packed in water molecules are less closely packed here are very loosely packed yes so all the three states nature is water only but the arrangement of molecules are changing yes that's that's why it's called states of water are interchangeable nature of water is remains same but the arrangement of water molecules changes example ice heat to form water water heat to form water vapor water vapor cools to form water again freeze to form ice then here are few more example let us see okay yes children here examples given solid pieces of ice are given isn't it yes that ice what happens on melting when we melt ice when we keep ice outside after for some time after uh, some hours if we observe few minutes if we observe you can see the solid ice after melting it changes into water a glass of water isn't it yes so then this again it freezes if we are freezing it inside the fridge if you are freezing it it will become solid ice again isn't it yes this is liquid so this ice when melt as i told you earlier when it melt or when it heat it becomes water then again freezing again reverse action it will goes to the solid form of ice yes now this ice sublimation sublimation means what you know yes solid changes into gas the process by which solid changes to solid to gas solid to gas it is called a sublimation sublimation means the process by which solid is changing into gas and deposition means what gas changes to solid again that is actually called deposition 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 deposit deposition we say in deposition gas will change back to solid sublimation solid will change to gas that is called directly solid changes to gases sublimation and the deposition of gas to ice is gas to solid is actually deposition hmm? gas to solid is deposition now from gas see condensation we can see condensation condensation is water from gaseous form to what liquid water to liquid 
it is water to liquid is condensation it's condensation yes so condensation is water form or water vapor to liquid form water vapor to liquid form gas to liquid form is condensation we say and evaporation you know yes evaporation is water to water vapor from liquid to gas it is evaporation yes this is evaporation changing of water changing of water vapor to liquid huh? water to water vapor or liquid to gas it is evaporation yes these are the examples that shown here water solid ice melting it changes into water and freezing again the water changes into ice again isn't it yes same like that from gas uh, water vapor to liquid the change of of water vapor to liquid it is condensation and from liquid to gas uh, that is evaporation then sublimation and deposition sublimation is the process by which solid is directly converted to gas and deposition is gas to solid form as deposition yes yes so what so states of water are interchangeable isn't it nature of water molecules in all the cases remains the same but the arrangement of water molecules are changing so we saw the example of ice solid ice to melting converting to water and when it heats it changes to water vapor and reverse when it cools again water vapors it changes to water and when it freezes it goes to ice again so in all the cases the nature is water itself but the arrangement of molecules is different it is solid liquid and gas because it's it is changing the states the forms so here also we have seen the example uh, of condensation evaporation and all isn't it so evaporation evaporation you can see here isn't it yes from uh, actually it's liquid state from it's a process by which liquid is changing into gas uh, liquid is changing into gas so we can see the example like real life example if we say uh, liquid to gas direct formation like when we sweat uh, sweating is an example of evaporation sweat from our body it is an example of evaporation we can say from liquid directly it changes into gas mm, that is actually evaporation when we dry the clothes under the sun wet clothes are wet it is in liquid form but when uh, under the sun it becomes dry so it is a real life example of evaporation isn't it liquid to gas yes so these are the example of evaporation now condensation condensation what we learned here is it is the process by which directly gas is changed into liquid gas to liquid yes that is condensation uh, like clouds in the sky it is an example of condensation rain falling down is an example of condensation huh? yes so and uh, the steamy bathroom mirror when we when we when we bath hmm? uh, in the steam water you can see the mirror in the in the washroom that uh, mirror becomes steamy isn't it so it's an example of uh, gas huh? to convert into liquid so it is condensation actually yes so condensation evaporation then sublimation is the process by which solid uh, it is directly changing into gas solid ice changing into gas this is a, the example of sub, uh, sublimation and the reverse of sublimation is deposition hmm? the, the, the direct conversion of solid carbon dioxide uh, sorry solid ice sorry solid ice to gas you know soda soda if we drink in the summer season you can see outside uh, this uh, droplets of water in the around the bottle you can see yes so it is uh, solid into gas directly changing so it is actually sublimation example we can say uh, even we can say uh, morning when we get up morning see, morning time we can see some uh, water droplets on uh, grass yes isn't it yes so these are examples of sublimation reverse of sublimation is deposition actually yes so these are the phase of changes of matter
Hmm? Yes. So in all cases, nature of water remains the same, but the molecules, the arrangement of molecules are different. Yes, even if it is sublimation, deposition, evaporation or condensation. Yes.